Okay, back here at the shop. It's uh, April 6th. I haven't done a lot of videos today because I haven't spent a lot of time in the shop today. And this weekend is over. And it's Monday because I call it my weekend because I drive truck. Um, that being said, I thought I probably should make a end of the weekend video. If I sound tired, it's only because I am. Um, I was going to do some sanding, but I got to be honest with you, that is the absolute nastiest job. And I don't want to do it if I'm still hanging out in here with food and no way to get out of the shop and no good way to do any of that stuff. So I'm putting off the sanding. I did not do any sanding this trip. I need to do it, but I'm not going to do it yet. <laughs> Why? Because I still got plenty of work on this boat before I ever get to the sanding. And I can do that. <laughs> I'd rather do that. <laughs> yes, I will get around to sanding. I just haven't done it. Um, this day, I thought, would be a good day to, like I said, on Saturday, I needed to buy some things. And I uh, knew I had to do some running around. And then the uh, other half decided to come to town and do some shopping, too, and needed some money. And grandkids are staying at our, uh, over at her place more, so there's uh, uh, a need for food more at our house. And I really didn't think she was going to get out in public at all because of her job. But she chanced it today long enough to come and get some money and buy some groceries in a town other than her own. And uh, I think she'll be fine. I hope she will anyway. And um, at the same time, uh, got to see two of my three, two of my, well, five grandkids, I guess it is. Let me see. I got a couple adopted grandkids, and I need to think about how many grandkids do I have. I guess I got uh, two there, two there. I swear. No, I got six grandkids. Um I do. Uh, I did see two of my six grandkids today, and that was certainly nice. Uh, and I got a lot of things done that had nothing to do with me working in the shop, but had everything to do with the shop. So um, I uh, went down to the pawn shop to get rid of some tools that I uh, know I will never use again, just to get them out of my shop and out of my way, and I couldn't make the pump run because I haven't started it in ages and it's got old gas in it so I didn't actually get anything any further than the back of my truck <laughs> so one day I have to make that run and uh, go back down there and they'll be happy to give it, give me money for it if I can show them that it runs but um, uh, let's see what else did I do today oh I got all of my garbage bags out of the shop and found dumpsters, various different dumpsters that let me move them. I had four of them stockpiled and I got all four of them out of here. Um, I got the metal bin emptied out. I uh, had to go up to Grafton to pay my car payment and meet with the uh, family and um, they got that metal bin up there. So I loaded up all that stuff and took it up there with me as I went. And when I got back down, oh, I went to uh, Acme Tool and bought a new circular saw, cordless circular saw called an Atomic. And it is uh, like a four and a half inch circular saw. And I bought it just to cut plywood. I've got a seven, a seven and a quarter inch uh, corded one if I need to go deeper. Uh, but I want it handy around the shop. You see I'm limited on space. Look, here, I'll even move the phone slow so it can focus. Not a lot of room in here. <laughs> so right there is my plywood storage against the back of that gate. And there will be a day when I'll be able to pull that out, set up the um, uh, saw horses and plywood right here, and do all my plywood work right here. Uh, it's more than enough space. I just have to move the trailer outside. Um, so I got that much done. And when I got back here, I did not feel like sanding i didn't wake up this morning and start my day with sanding and i got plenty of work left to do on the boat without sanding and the next time you see me i probably won't sand that time either but i uh went when i went to acme they did not have the eight foot ladder i wanted that's a six foot ladder it gets me in and out of the boat okay but if i had an eight foot ladder it would be like you know, reaching over for handrails instead of bending down to grab the ladder. 
And I want an eight foot ladder, but I don't want to spend way too much on it. And they have one in their system that's affordable, but it wasn't in their store. So I did not get the ladder today and I had taken money out of the bank to get the ladder and I was sitting there with the money to get the ladder knowing that I also needed wheel dollies to go under the axles on the trailer so when I slide the trailer out here in the middle of the floor to do all that sanding I don't want to do uh, I knew where they were I, I didn't want just any to, uh, any dollies um, I wanted uh, something uh, well I'd rather overkill it than to not uh, you know, to try to save money and be cheap and come up short. But most of them are a thousand pound. Um, some of them are 1500 pounds. And the ones that I got are 2,500 pounds, which is 5,000 pounds between the two of them. And this boat and trailer don't weigh 5,000 pounds, especially without the engine in it. The front jack has its own wheel, and I'm going to just kind of get away with that. I don't like using that. I'd rather have it on a dolly, but to get another set would have been another 130 some dollars. So I bought two good ones for 130 some dollars instead of going cheap, hoping that it would work better. I mean, honestly, if there's any one thing I know about wheels on floors, okay, this is a welding table. It's heavy. Those wheels are old and... They're pretty, they were pretty good when they were new, and that's difficult to move around. And the best thing I could do is change the wheels on that thing to some better wheels. And that's my hope, is that buying something a little beefier also has a little beefier wheel, and therefore hopefully it'll roll a little easier when I lean against this thing to move it out on the floor. Um, so all that being said, if I ever wanted to use them on a car, I'd have to go back and get another set, uh, because they come in sets of two and cars have four wheels. This only has three and I only have to have them under two of them. So that being said, that's what I did all day. When I got back, I still didn't feel like working on the boat. I said, you know what? I haven't washed my laundry in my truck. In a month of Sundays. I've got a really nice washer at home. It's a big washer. It was bought so I could wash uh, bedding and stuff like that. Comforters, sleeping bags after a camp out, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm not home. And I can't go home. So I thought, you know what? I know where there's a laundromat with a really nice, really big uh washing machine and i said yeah, why not I, I i want to climb in my truck and feel like i'm in a clean truck so i went and uh got all my laundry out of my truck got all my bedding out of my truck and my coat you know even the coat i'm wearing i finally went and washed that sucker um put it all i mean i did all my laundry tonight and then i went and took a shower and uh i gotta go back to trucking tomorrow and uh, I'm rambling and I know I'm and I'm tired and uh, I just feel like I got so much done I didn't reach all my goals but I got so much done in so many other areas that uh, you know I still got a air compressor on this trailer that needs to get delivered to a friend of mine or uh, go somewhere else I still have a water pump in the back of my truck I need to make run and take it back to a pawn shop I still have um, a hitch on this trailer that needs to be changed. I bought this trailer off of my son who lived on a gravel road. And the first time I tried to bring a snowblower home on it, I had the snowblower on the back of the trailer and all the weight on the back of the trailer, which is, you know, fool number one. And, but it didn't change anything. The hitch should never come off. And I can see where the wear is on the keeper up against the pin has wore enough so that even though it's latched, if I were to take this trailer and load it wrong and hit the wrong railroad tracks and bounce it hard, that hitch will come off. Uh, the safety chain saved my butt that night and uh, nothing bad happened. I just got my jack out and jacked it back up and hooked it back up and took it easy and moved everything forward and, and got it home. But I know that that hitch needs to be changed, and I'm going to get it changed, and I don't want to be the one to weld it. I want to find a welding shop that will do it. Uh, those are two issues that are always in the back of my mind, 
is when am I going to get rid of that air compressor and when am I going to get that uh, hitch changed. But even you know, the next time you see me, probably won't happen. What will happen is the forward section in this thing is going to get dissected. The uh, um, the the uh, bathroom area is going to get gutted so I can get down to the repair area of the fiberglass on the back side when it comes time to repair that. Um, and those are the next two big things. Uh, I got one or two pieces of chrome left on it that, that could come off of it. But this boat is really coming along in areas that I did not think I would be working on this time of year. And the sanding will one day become a priority. I'd like to do it when I can open the door, turn on some fans, and get under there and suck that stuff away from me or blow that stuff away from me as I'm sanding with the boat in the middle of the trailer on the jack stands. And uh, uh, I never get everything I want. What I don't want is I don't want to sand on it this morning and then sleep in the shop tonight. And uh, right now going to a hotel isn't much of an option. I mean, they're probably open. They'd probably let me in. But, you know, honestly, I feel safer in this shop health-wise as long as I don't do something stupid and make it unhealthy like sand in here before I go to bed. <laughs> so th there will come a day when I'll need the hotel again to uh, do it right. Um, and that's just because, I, you know, honestly, I'd take a week off and do nothing but work on this boat if I could sleep outside the shop. And to do that means I would have to sleep in my truck, and I don't think I would get the rest that I would really need to be ready to go to work again on it. So uh, without a hotel, you know, it, it's difficult. And right now the hotels will probably want money and want to stay in business and would probably let you in, but I don't think it's wise at this point. So I'm going to leave it at that. This is a really long video. It may or may not upload, uh, but that's where we're at. Thanks, and have a great day.